Hey everybody, I'm Shane. And I'm Jeremy. What are we going to do here, buddy? They, they ask you, do you have people who ask you from time to time, how the heck would you get rid of all the, I'm not going to call it crap, I, I'll call it junk. How do you get rid of all the junk that Microsoft pre-installs? The noise. The noise. Yeah. And get down to just maybe the good apps that you want instead of all the stuff that's pre-installed. Do you get that from time to time? I've actually asked that. Yeah. It, it, it's very annoying. It was very, it was a slam dunk in previous versions of Windows. Yeah. But now it's like all the stuff, and there's two types of packages. There are packages that are pre-installed and packages that are suggested. And they're kind of like almost installed. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could get rid of all that stuff all in one fell swoop? Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to leave this machine up and running here. I've actually got the script, and you can get the script from policypack.com. It's not hard to generate if you want to do it yourself. Basically, what you're doing is you're getting an AppX package, finding its name, and then removing the AppX package. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this whole giant script, and we've got like, I don't know, 90 things. Okay. And then we're going to use PolicyPack Scripts Manager. So PolicyPack Scripts Manager is a built-in thing. Uh, for us, so we'll go to uh, Web Engineers, and we're going to go and say pp uninstall junk apps. Okay, maybe unwanted apps is probably maybe the nicer way to do it. Uninstall unwanted apps. Okay. So now the thing is, is that you could do this in a garden variety Windows script, but then it's going to run every time, slowing the machine down to log on. Would it be better if you could deploy it once and never again? That's the lash up. So we'll go to user side, policy pack. We'll dive down under Scripts Manager. We'll then go to right-click, Add a New Policy. Now, here's the other part about this. You might want to have some packages that are going to be removed, say, when you're on the sales team, but then you want to get back some packages if you're on the marketing team. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need an on script and an off script. I'm not going to do the off script part, but you can use your imagination. Here's the on script. I'm going to use PowerShell, run it as a user, and paste in all that stuff. So we're going to get rid of all these things in real time. Perfect. But you can envision that there's an off script as well. So when I move from sales to marketing, I'm turning back on mm -hmm. some packages. I'm installing some things or whatever. And you have a cheat sheet right there. Yeah, you're ready to rock. You could do it always, probably overkill for what we're doing here, but there could be a script where if somebody's, you know, another kind of opportunity, a user keeps making a change over and over again, you're going to keep changing it over and over again on them. Really? Who's in charge? Us mm -hmm. or the users? That's us. Or once, which is what we're going to do here, or once when forced. Let's just do it one time and never again. Okay. So go ahead and click on next here. We'll call this remove junk apps. Okay. And we're ready to rock. It's just that simple. So we'll go over to our endpoint machine, okay. which has all the stuff here, and we'll watch it in real time. We'll go ahead, go to command prompt, run. Whoops, helps if you type it correctly. Going to go ahead and force a GP update, I take it. You are reading my mind. So now we're going to run GP update slash force, and we're going to watch it in real time. Now, it takes a second or two to kick in, but you'll know it's kicking in when all of a sudden you're going to start seeing things fly off the start menu and fly off the off the added list. There, I start this. I see some fluttering. I see some activity. Yep, yeah, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. It's nuking each of the things off. Now, notice this one category we have here, good apps that won't delete. That's the kind of stuff you'd be deploying using PDQ Deploy. In my case, I just put Notepad in there, which you'd be, you can see, using this script, it's substantially taking away all the things that most people don't want in their builds, and it does it one time and never again. Policy pack, baby. Here for you guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you.